We got a one, a two, and a three, and a double video on a Friday. That's right. I did get out to the thrift stores. I did get that dresser moved though. And I was sitting here and I just watched the video that I made earlier and I, uh, I seen your response, Final 79. And I just felt like I, I wanted to respond back to you, to what you said. Uh, it, it made my money. You, had, you just made the comment that you're glad that I made my money in 50. Uh, you know, I'm not rich. I'm not, but I'm, I'm, at a play, uh, I'm at a place in life where I can live within my means. Uh, and, 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 and that's really just, uh, I live a humble life. I really do, and, and my time is just donated to my, to my taking care of my family. And then I, I get to do this in any free time. You know, I get to collect and, uh, and, and, and go out to an antique store, you know. I've been going to thrift stores since I was a little boy, and, and to flea markets and, and dumpsters as a little boy, so I grew up on it, you know, I shined fucking shoes. Uh, for a living, and, 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 and I'm not angry about it either. I mean, I did it. I, I used to sell flowers. My grandpa used to make these, uh, he would grow flowers. He had an amazing, beautiful flower garden in front of his uh, uh, basement uh, apartment that he rented with my grandma in his last years. And so he had this amazing flower garden, and he used to cut, and he'd make all these small ones these tiny little pots and so you would fit about six of them in an old cigar box and so I would take those to the bar and I would sell them and I'd go door to door and I'd get like I don't I don't know what if I what I got for a quarter 50 cents but they sold like hot cakes actually every anyone that he ever gave me I always sold them all and uh, he did that to keep me out of trouble so get round in the back I've just you know I've hustled my whole life and so I grew up with absolutely zero uh, dirty clothes fucking no food in the fridge uh, no parents around nothing walk in the alleys and dirty clothes and fucking shitty shoes just suck so I'm at a point in life where you know I'm not rich but I'm, I'm just fucking I'm comfortable and from where I came from to me this is uh, a castle and I'm um, just, you know, I'm comfortable and I'm trying to live another 50. And uh, and so I like to get out to the thrift store, so it's just like the buy shit, man. You know, I, really my passion for this isn't about money. It is the love of collecting and history, just that attachment to it. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's some psychological uh, inner hole I'm trying to fill in my life by collecting all this shit, but I really do, uh, you know, I learned the stories of the pieces, a lot of them. Uh, at least I used to when I used to clean out estates. You'd look like a ladder, a pitcher, a first job, a high school, you know, all the way to when the guy died and I'm cleaning out his antiques and, and old shit. Uh, I just love it. I love saving it. And then, uh, and then what can we get out of this? And so the thing that I tell people in life that what I see time and time again when I used to do estate clean outs is. This is a tangent. This is why my videos are unscripted. Because I'm just shooting from the hip. I go where I want with this. Uh, it's getting rid of stuff. You really want to prepare yourself. Uh, always be thinking for the future and planning for those final uh, days. And it's not a morbid thing at all. It's being prepared. Because you don't want to pass and leave all the shit that you've saved your entire life to go in a fucking dumpster. Uh, sell it. Destroy it yourself. Give it away. You know, do those three things. Sell it, destroy it, or give it away. And when I say destroy it, I'm talking personal things. You know, maybe a letter from a first girlfriend you don't want no one to see. Maybe you have a picture of a girlfriend that you don't want no one to see. Just, just destroy it. Uh, burn it and then shed a tear and let those emotions out. Let that shit go because it's better than going in the dumpster and having someone... Uh, dig through though if you got lucky and a guy like me came along and saved it the very rare most of the stuff in America goes to a landfill and it's sad uh, the best shit out there picking antique stores flea markets goes to that fucking dump I've lived it I've seen it the stuff that gets thrown away in America you would not fucking believe it unbelievable uh, that's it so what did I want to touch on wanted to touch on uh, uh, the money thing and then but for you and final 79 you're right you know you, 
you should be thinking about it. If you're a picker and a dealer about making a $300 profit on anything that you buy, totally right. But, uh, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just a collector, a flipper, a, a trader uh, in old shit. And uh, I've done that business aspect of it, but at this point, this is strictly that. So I can offer a little tidbits from both views, I guess. And I even get the dumpster stories and the shoe shine stories maybe someday if I can remember fucking any of them. I can't think of anything in particular. Other than I used to do a lot of spit shines, which is absolutely disgusting. I would spit on these good shoes and shine the fuck out of them, though, until they should they would shine. God, I wish I remembered exactly what I would make. Maybe it was 50 cents a dollar. I don't know. Everybody, have a good day. Second video, two on a Friday. That's it. That's it, brother. I accomplished that one thing a day. Remember it. Hey, now! Doral. And this is Benatar. And Dolly. All icons. And the mighty Iron Maiden.